I'm not sure if you can see it, but in my lid from the water bottle, there is sand in it. That is so bad. We went to the beach last night and then the bottle fell down and fell into the sand. And now it's all messed up. I need to wash it. I'm so scared to drink a sip of water now and then I have all this beach sand in my mouth. No sand. Two very important things in the morning. Number one, water. You're dehydrated, so drink a lot of water. Number two, oh, just important to me. And I know we keep having this conversation. You keep talking to me and I don't drink coffee so early in the morning. Wait a tiny bit. It's so much better for your health. It's so much better for your blood sugar. This is something I just can't because I love coffee so much. I love it so much. <laughs> I just need some coffee in the morning. That's all I need. So give me some coffee in the morning. No sugar, no sweet. And then let's make breakfast. Because today is a good day. What was that? Did you hear that? There was a really, really loud sound like boom, like a little explosion. Or maybe I'm coming up with a lot of scenarios in my head right now. Maybe it was a car crashing into another car. Maybe something really big fell out of the window of the neighbor's apartment. I don't know, like something really crazy happened. I don't know, maybe we will find out later, but definitely nothing in here. Everything here is fine, everything here is good. Let's make breakfast. <laughs> For breakfast today, I want to have eggs. I want to have the typical breakfast that I'm many ways eating every day. I have this massive avocado here. Looks so good. And then I'm not sure if I go with rice cakes today or if I'm going to eat one of these tortillas. I bought them here and I already ate almost all of them. No, I have three left. Three tortillas left. Maybe we do that or we just go basic with rice cakes and we do these later. I think we do these later. Decision made. Today I'm so quick with making decisions. Let's also add some tomatoes. Wow. Eating the same breakfast as almost every time. It still is a highlight to me. It still is good. I also have kombucha here. That's a healthy stuff and it's really yummy. I also want to drink a tiny little bit of that to get my digestion and my belly and my gut ready for the day. <laughs> all right, I think I have it all. I want to do a workout after this breakfast. That's why rice cakes to me work so good. If I eat rice cakes in the morning, I don't know, it's not crazy in my belly, if you know what I mean. So I, do, I don't feel heavy jumping straight into a workout. I am also really excited to work out today. I feel like I have energy. Don't tell someone, but I woke up super late. I woke up around 8.30. That's pretty late to me, but it's weekend. I'm here in Spain. I'm like just trying to work, but also relax a tiny bit, which is so hard in Berlin. Don't get me wrong, I love Berlin. Berlin is my favorite city. I say that with every city I know. I'm like, I love LA, it's my favorite city. I love New York, it's my favorite city. I love Berlin, it's my favorite city. No, seriously, I love New York, LA, but also Berlin. But coming here is also, it's really, really, really nice. I'm in Spain, Mabea, and it's great to calm the nervous system down a bit. That makes sense. Oh my god. This is this induction induction board gorilla. I don't know the word. Please tell me what the what the word of this is, but <laughs> the eggs are like going crazy. The eggs are exploding and I don't know where I have this thing to get the eggs out. Oh my god, I want this at home. I want this whole kitchen at home. We're staying here in an Airbnb. I think in the most beautiful Airbnb that we have ever booked. It's 
we so i say we because i'm here with juju we're traveling together we are together here in spain and we were just walking in and it was like It really is the most beautiful Airbnb we've ever stayed in. You know what's crazy? This is the first trip where we both had no idea where we get ourselves into. So we had zero expectations, zero, nothing, none of us. We were just packing for our trip. We were like, okay, we need a lot of content here. So we were like packing our cameras and phones and everything. And then we came here and it was just so stunning. So sometimes it's really good to have no expectations. I feel like the trips when you have no expectations are the best trips. Some avocado and I feel like the eggs are already done. I want this kitchen. Everything is so good and it's working so well. The rice cakes here are a bit weird. They break so easy. Maybe I bought gluten-free rice cakes and that's why they break so easy. I really don't know, but they really, you just touch them and they break. So I have to be really careful when I mash the avocado now. Uh, let's romanticize it a tiny bit by making it super pretty with some red tomatoes. Red tomatoes. Are there any other tomatoes? Actually, there are. There are also yellow and green tomatoes. And then I put it on the side. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful. The fact that every single day here, there's this wonderful blue sky and I see the sea, I see the water, I see the waves from my balcony right now. That, that makes me feel so damn grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for this opportunity that I can wake up in a place like that. That makes me so happy. And I have a wonderful, amazing, good tasting coffee and I have breakfast and I have food and I have a healthy body that I can use in a bit to work out and move. This is so, this is so insane. So next to eating breakfast, drinking coffee and doing a workout, I don't have any plans for today. I don't know. I want to go to the beach. That's the only thing I can imagine right now. Other than that, it gets pretty, pretty hot throughout the day. So doing things outside throughout the day here is impossible. It's so hot. So I'm not really sure. If you travel somewhere like Spain or Greece or Italy or like a summer holiday place, what do you do all day long? That sounds so stupid, but I really don't know. I might, like usually I work. Usually I grab my laptop throughout the day and work. I might also work a tiny bit today. I don't know. Maybe I read something, maybe I write something, I don't know. Mm. 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 It never gets boring. Mm -mm. I forgot my kombucha. Mm. I'm so scared to bite into the egg yolk, the yellow one, because then I'm going to mess myself up. I'm gonna mess myself up. Does that make sense? <laughs> but now it's coming down. Can you see? Oh my God. I let it drop on all the tomatoes. Mm, but it's just so good. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. I can't. Mm. Mm. My fingers are so tight. Like doing this feels so wrong. Ah, like, can you do it? And like, can you try it please right now? Like try it. How does it feel? <laughs> mm. I need to stretch more. It is on my, on my to-do list every, every other day, but I should do it more often. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should make an iced coffee. I think I'm gonna make an iced coffee as well now. Just because, just because I have milk and I have coffee <laughs> and I have ice cubes. So I could make an iced coffee and then um, I'm gonna get ready for the workout. Ooh, so fun and beautiful.
They have this crazy bookshelf and I don't know how it works. It's something I want to figure out since I'm here. If I grab a book, like let's say I want to grab out one of these books, does it mean that everything is going to fall down then? I don't know. We should try it. We should risk it. I want to have, I want to have this book. It's all cookbooks. That's so cool. So if I now push out one of these books, what happens? Like it doesn't even move up there. Huh? How does it work? I don't get it. I really don't get it. What about the I Love New York book? If I want to have that, oh my God. If I want to have this one, this is so crazy, but I really don't get it. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> Whoa, I see it now. Like here, there's like a, this little shelf. Can you see it? This is how it works. So there's this little shelf holding all of these together. This is so cool. I want that in my Berlin apartment too. This is freaking cool. This is awesome. Hey, wow. I have a book to read. I love New York. I think we all should read a little bit more. We all should grab books that we have or that we find and read a bit more. Even if it's just cookbooks. You know I love cookbooks. I love recipe books. I love books about self-development. I love books about how to do different kind of things. I love it. And now I just have this cookbook here and I'm getting a bit inspired for recipes. <laughs> But I can't read anything, that's the issue. It is, I don't know what the language is. Swedish? Ingredient and in, in Recepten. Daniel Hum and Will Guidara. Okay, I'm gonna pick a page and I'm gonna read it. So maybe you can help me translate it. It's like also a lot of like portraits of people and then there are stories. Let's do this one, Captain. Captain Anthony Joseph Steers One. Captain Sien Werkt Moet and Vast Howden Heights. So where I can shop in the Anthony Joseph I'll open I'll up younger live chat hot. Heat Kroide up in the boat van Chef's Head Bay, Brooklyn. And ging vak naar de havens on the kirken wat daar al mal gebarde. Ik ben a dit dit al geinterested geweest in het water van wissen. En raakte in de baan van botten. Zeigt heet. <laughs> that is so much fun. Some some words sound a tiny bit like German. I swear, like really like, I don't know, here like geinterested gewesen. That to me sounds like I was interested. I was always interested in something. And in German it would be, ich war schon immer interessiert daran. <laughs> I have a really stupid idea. I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna run at the beach. It's a stupid idea because it is really hot. <laughs> it is freaking hot outside. There isn't even one cloud, but I have one hope. At the beach, there is this road with trees. So I hope I can run there and it's not as hot. And how cool is it that I finally have a car? Like, this is so cool. I don't have a car in Germany, in Berlin, but I have a car here in Spain. So let's drive to the beach. I just hope no one is judging me for this cappy. I mean, it's cool. Hydrated, the word is really cool. We went to this shop the other day in Paris when we had been in Paris. And then there was this shop where we could print our own things and our things that you could buy there, like t-shirts or cappies. And we saw this cappy and then we were like, okay, let's print something funny on it. And you know, I'm always carrying my water bottle around. I'm the definition of hydration. <laughs> like I'm literally, honestly, I, I always talk about hydration. I always talk about how important it is to um, stay hydrated. So that's why I have this hydrated cappy. The only issue I have with it, seriously, is just here. It's too big. It doesn't match my head. I don't know. Anyways, let's go. 
So I'm here at the beach now, but it wasn't just my idea to come here. So it had been the idea of a lot of people. It's, there's no parking space, zero, zero. I just want to run. I, I'm like ready, you know, I'm on caffeine. I have sunscreen on, I'm so ready to run, but I'm stuck in my car now. Damn, that's not cool. That is not cool. I want to have a parking spot right now, please. It's weekend, so people on the beach, I guess. I thought if it's that hot, people are not going to the beach. I don't know what I thought. Uh, now I'm stuck here. What is this dude doing? What is he doing? Like, he doesn't let me out. I'm standing behind him and I cannot go out. I hate those people who are just complaining all the time when they're driving. What is he doing? Is he standing there? Now he's coming. Hello. Hello. Uh, in English? Uh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. He's like, he said, wait a second. I didn't understand anything. It's pure chaos. It's pure chaos. I'm, I'm sweating. Now I'm standing here and I, I can't go out. I don't have a parking spot. Now the girl behind me is coming. She's also making drama. I'm a bit scared. What's happening? Oh my God, like, I just wanna... Uh-oh. People fighting. I don't know what that means. Okay, I found a parking spot. It's in the middle of the sun. It's gonna get really, really hot. I'll leave my camera here and I hope it's not gonna explode. So I will be back in like 30 minutes. I try to run for like 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm a bit scared now after all this drama. So I better drink one more sip of water. Oh, it's hot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I just, I just don't have words right now. I'm so sweaty. If I hold my arm like this, it's dripping down. Sweat is dripping down. This was one of the hardest runs, but at the same time, the most fun runs I've ever done. I feel like I love the heat. I love the heat so much and I'm sitting in this extremely hot car and I'm loving it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna drive back home. It's pretty pretty late. All I've done today was eating breakfast, going on a run and spending a lot of time in a parking queue but that's amazing. It still was a lot of fun. I still I'm still happy. I'm still very very happy especially now with the post run and the fiends. Okay let's drive back home because I am ready for shower ready for a really really nice shower holy i'm so i'm sweating so much i can't it's time to get ready for lunch i am hungry so after all this drama and after my running session, I'm hungry. I want to go out for lunch and I want to feel cute when going out for lunch. Do do. Should we leave in like 20 minutes? Yeah. Woohoo! Let's go. Where are we going? There's one cafe that's called Hustle and Flow, but it's yeah. all more in the city center. It's not on the beach. We like the hustle. <laughs> we like the hustle, but that sounds more like a yeah. midday. That's not really romantic. We want to have a romantic lunch. So lunch today is at Rachel's Echo Love. We still need to figure out who Rachel is. Maybe Rachel is there today. And why is it called Echo? Echo Love. And why do I overthink everything? I think she was there actually. No. No, it looks exactly like that lady who was there. We met Rachel, the famous Mabea Rachel. Okay, Juju, you ready? 
We made it into the car again. I have some bad news. Like we have to go back to the parking spot from this morning because I lost one of my AirPods there. I, I think it's there. I think it's there. So let's go there and see. And then we finally get some lunch. If it's somewhere, it's here. Oh my God, there is it. I got it, I got it, I got it. No fucking way. No way. My AirPods, it was here in the Gemüse, in the wild. Today is a lucky day. So no matter how much shit happens, there's always a lucky moment. When you lose your AirPod, ask your iPhone where it is. It's gonna tell you and then you find it again. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go, I'm sweating so much. I never ever wanna be here again and park here again and come here again. <laughs> Do you know what to take? Oh, so yeah. They have cucumber, avocado, salmon, sushi, rice, kimchi. Oh, that's crazy. I'm gonna take a burrito. A burrito. That sounds so good. A burrito. I'm craving the no pasta pasta, but then I need something as well, like some carbs. <laughs> I'm kind of craving beef, which is so weird. But can I get something like on the side? Oh, I also want to try the protein bowls later. But I'm really also craving a salad. It's so boring. I really crave feta too, I have to say. And I crave a wrap. They also have ice cream. They do. Come here. I might take the tofu wrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Food is here. Yum. Enjoy. I didn't know it's with potatoes. Yum. Mm. Sriracha would be really good. And what's the other sauce? But a bit of Tabasco. I really love spicy. Mm. Mm. It's spicy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's why this wrap thing is on, like it's, I messed up my skirt. It's a bit hard to eat. Mm. I ordered a scrambled tofu wrap. Chuchu ordered a egg wrap. A burrito. A burrito. Mm -hmm. It's an omelet wrap. It's not a burrito. <laughs> you know, protein. Proteins, we're happy chappy. No, I'm so messed up now. It's good, like it's really good. I'm just messing around here because it's dripping down and it's just really hard to eat. Juju is bringing me some napkins now because she said I need it. Thank you. Whoa, it's just dripping down there. Can you see that? Mm, give me some Tabasco. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. I'm also sweating now. Sweating. I need to go and wash my hands. <laughs> Done! Yum! We finished our meals. Oh my god, our cake! This is so extra. Oh, yeah. yeah! Thank you! Oh my god, it's so big. It's so big. <laughs> we could have shared one. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. wow! Look at this, babes. So we both ordered carrot cakes. And now we're eating carrot cakes, and it's a good, happy day. Mm. It's hitting the spot? Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes me happy. You know what they say in Spanish? No. They say, buen provecho. What does that mean? I think it means good taste. Yeah, like, I think so. Like it means good buen provecho? Taste. Buen provecho. Mm. The icing. Mm. This really makes me happy. Um, <laughs> that was so worth it. Mm. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Mabea. Rachel has some good carrot cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you 
you know, a lot of things go wrong sometimes. <laughs> but a lot of things go right as well. Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Oh. The mm. fail. Mm. Oh my god. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. There's only one thing we have to share. The seat here, like the... The lounge chairs. The lounge chairs are only for hotel guests. We are not hotel guests. So Juju was like asking if we could sit here for 15 minutes to film this clip. And now we sit here and eat here. Oh, well, the cream is freaking bomb. Mm. 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 I'm gonna do work today. It's so that only small. I'm still here with this journal, this psychological exercises book. It's the School of Life, Who Am I? Also Juju, I got her into it. And it's fun to sit here and just answer questions and trying to figure out who you are. I love it. I started in Berlin. I haven't, don't even have half of it now. Like it's, it takes forever and ever, but it's a lot of fun. And it's definitely better than sitting here in the pool and scrolling. So it's a lot of fun. And this is our day activity now. I love this. Like this is my dream day. This is my dream holiday pool day. A morning workout, eating healthy, yummy food, sitting and riding here. Some people call it boring. I call it the most exciting and fun day. Bye, bye girls, bye. There were just these three girls from London and they saw us with a camera and they asked, what are you doing? And we were like, we're filming for YouTube. And they checked out the YouTube channel now. And I hope these three girls are new subscribers and in the team girl vibe. <laughs> Maybe. I hope the lifeguard is not kicking us out here. Time for dinner. For dinner, we made salad bowls. Both of us, different salad bowls. I put in white beans, tuna, and a lot of salad. And we are done with Netflix right now. We are done with all the shows, all the movies. We don't know what to watch. So we were talking in the car today about shows that we watched when we were younger. And we ended up being at A Simple Life or The Simple Life. A simp the Simple Life with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. That's what we used to watch all the time when we were younger. I loved it. Do you know any other of these old, I don't know, MTV shows or Nickelodeon? Like write it down in the comments. It would be so cool to know what kind of shows you watched when you were younger. A Simple Life was definitely vibing. Oh my God, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell was Paris dog. Damn, Pimp My Ride. What else was there? Next, next. <laughs> Date my mom. Oh my god, I loved these shows. Oh, true, they went to a farm. I remember that. Oh my god. Mm, the Louis Vuitton suitcase. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> She's so rude. Oh my god, the show is actually good. This show was just too good. It was so good. But in the first episode, they... what did it do? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Five minutes after getting to their new home, Paris and Nicole have already found something to complain about. Because you have a big heart. Very sensitive. No. Who remembers the show next? That was that's even better. Like that was my favorite show. As I guess you're not a fan of my world. Of course not. Oh my god, he is so funny. Can we get one more time? What about Can we get one more time? 
What else was really funny? What about date my mom? What? Date, date my mom? That was also funny. Oh my god. I'm shocked. How old was I? 12? I had no idea. And your mom didn't let you watch SpongeBob? <laughs> my mom did not allow me to watch SpongeBob, but I was watching Date My Mom. Like, look it up on YouTube if you don't know what I'm talking about. What is he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best show ever. This is my new chocolate favorite. Chocolate and mint. The combination is just so good. And before I go to bed, I'm gonna eat a bite. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, the electricity is dark. There's no light. There's nothing working. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Fuck. Choo Choo is already in bed. Choo Choo? Choo Choo? Okay, it's back. Wow, that was so, that was so crazy. I'm so happy it works again. So I have light again. That's good. And team, I wanted to say goodnight. You know what I make while I say goodnight to you? Magnesium. I have to drink a lot of magnesium right now because I'm running so much. I'm outside all the time. I just mix this one with water. A little bit of magnesium, super important, especially when you run a lot and when you're super active. I just mix it with water and I don't know if you know, but if you drink magnesium before going to bed, you might fall asleep a little bit faster or you might have a better sleep, your recovery is faster and better. <laughs> so drink your magnesium before going to bed or take pills, whatever works better for you. And I hope you enjoy it hanging out with us today here in Spain in Mabea. I really like this place. I really like the the weather. It's amazing. It's it's very very hot right now but it's still so beautiful every single day. It's blue sky and no clouds and yeah check it out if you want to come here or if you want to um, book some holidays for yourself then Mabea might be on your list. I don't know. Do you have any other recommendations? Then write it in the comments and then we all can check it out and we all can, can get inspired to go somewhere, go somewhere new. <laughs> all right team, I'm gonna say good night. The only thing I have to do now is to wash off my makeup and then I'm gonna close my eyes and go to bed. Tomorrow we have to run pretty long. I want to do a 24 kilometer run tomorrow, which is longer than a half marathon. And it is the longest distance that I've ever done, but it's still, I'm still preparing for my marathon that I'm really excited about. So let's go running tomorrow. Let's go to bed right now to wake up early tomorrow. And then yeah, see you soon guys. Thank you so much for watching. I give you a good night hug. Good night. And I give you a lot of Good night. Kisses mm, from Spain. I'm sorry I made you a bit dirty. I love you guys. Bye.